Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem that says that Lisa ordered dishes worth $30 at a restaurant. If the restaurant charged her a GST of 7% and a service charge of 10% on the order, how much did her total bill come out to be? And then it says that GST is equal to goods and services tax. All right, what is meant by the word tax? Well, a tax is a fee that's charged by the government. So this is a fee that the government charges on uh, products that you buy or services that you buy or on income that you earn, or it could be some other form of tax, could be road tax, or could be like you know car tax or something whatever I mean there are several different kinds of taxes anyway for the uh, for this problem what Lisa did was she bought dishes at a restaurant that cost her that were worth $30 so the price of the dishes was $30 but on top of that the restaurant charged her a 7% goods and services tax and a 10% service charge now, if you put all this information on a model diagram, how it would look like is that if we have a model, if we make a model for the order that Lisa placed, which was uh, worth $30, so let's call this order, and that's uh, $30, okay? That's the cost of the order, just the order, okay, without any taxes. So this is equal to $30, right? This is the price of the order which is $30 now let's also put a percent scale to this order so this order is 100% okay the $30 is 100% of the cost of the order so it runs from 0 to 100% on the percent scale all right so $30 is 100% of the cost of the order now on top of that what Lisa had to pay was she had to pay a GST which the government charged her the tax the fee of 7% okay now the 7% is on the cost of the order okay which means it's on this $30 so GST of 7% is 7% of $30. Now, 7% must be somewhere over here. So, if this is 7% of the cost of the order, then this amounts to the GST. This much, if we extend it down to somewhere over here, the 7% GST, which is about a block of this size, okay, this is the GST. It's 7% of the order and let's color it, say, blue. So, this is your 7% of $30. So this is your 7%, okay? 7% of $30, right? Now we don't know what this is equal to in dollars. We'll put a question mark. Now an additional charge that the restaurant charges her is the service charge of 10%, okay? 10% of $30. So 10% on the order is 10% of $30. So Lisa pays for three things. What she pays for is she pays for the cost of the dishes that she bought. Then she pays the GST of 7% and then she pays a 10% service charge. Now 10% of $30 is somewhere over here. So this is your 10%. Now if we extend it down to make another block for the service charge, that would be somewhere until here. So this block is 10% of $30 and this is service charge. Let's just call it SC. Okay, and maybe give it some color, say pink. All right, so what have we got? We've got this as 10% of $30 and we don't know how much this is equal to in dollars, so we'll put another question mark, okay. Okay, so another question mark here. All right, now the total bill is made of all these three things. It's made of this order plus this GST plus this service charge. All right, so this is equal to question mark and this is equal to the total bill. All right, so the total bill, let's just write down this as bill. The bill is equal to the order plus the GST plus the service charge. Now, let's find out what each of these is equal to in dollars. Well, the order we know is equal to $30, so we put that down as $30 plus the GST. Now, the GST is 7% of $30. So, let's just write that down as 7% of $30. Then the service charge is 10% of $30 because it's 10% of the order. Now, let's calculate each of these. $30 is $30 plus 7% of $30 is 7 upon 100 of $30. So, this is the GST 
plus 10% of $30 is 10 upon 100 of $30, so times $30, that's the service charge. Now, let's simplify this uh, statement. Let's simplify the GST. So for the GST, the 0 and the 0 cancel out. What we have is 7 times 3, which is 21, and 21 divided by 10. So the $30 for the order, this is $30 for the order, then 7 times 3 is 21, so $21 divided by 10. Okay, this 10 over here. Then let's simplify the service charge. So we cancel out this 0 with this 0 here in the 30 and this 0 with this 0 in the 10. And all that's left is $3. So we add $3 to this. Okay, now what have we got? We've got $30 plus $21 divided by 10, that's equal to $2.10, plus this $3 for the service charge. And all together, let's see what that's equal to. 30 plus $2.10 is $32.10, plus $3 is $35.10. So the total bill is equal to $35.10, and that's your answer. So although Lisa bought dishes worth $30, she had to pay $35.10 because of the 7% GST that went to the government and the 10% service charge that the restaurant charged on the order. Okay, now this is method number one of finding out what uh, the bill is equal to. What we did here was we found out the dollar amounts of each of the three components that went into the total bill, the order, the GST, and the service charge. But what instead of converting each of these two dollars, we simply add up the percentages of each of these components and then try to find out what the bill is equal to. Let me erase all this from here. So I erase all this. Okay, now total bill is equal to we know that it's equal to order plus GST plus the service charge right okay now this is method number two okay so I'll put two here and uh, let's put the percentages of each of these now Lisa had to pay hundred percent of the cost of the order so she had to pay hundred percent of the cost of the order and then she had to pay seven percent GST. So the GST is equal to 7% and the service charge that she had to pay was equal to 10%. Now add up all these percentages. What do you get? So all these percentages when added together give you 117%. Now 117% of what? Well 117% of the order because everything is a percentage of the order. The GST is charged on the order. The service charge is also charged on the order and the 100% here is of course 100% of the order. So everything is a percentage of the order. Here also you should write that all these three components are a percentage of the order. Okay. Alright, so what is 117% of the order? Well, 117% of the order means 117% of $30. Now let's uh, simplify this. What do you get? You have 117% means 117 upon 100, this fraction, times $30. And let's just simplify all this. So the 0 and this 0 cancelled out. What you have is you have 117 times 3. So what's that equal to? Let's do the working here. 117 times 3 is 3 times 7 is 21. 1 and 2 carried over, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3. So you have $351 divided by 10. Well, all that is equal to is $35.10. So method number 2 also gives you the same answer as method number 1. So it's totally up to you which method you want to use. You can use the person method or you can use the dollar method. You'll still get to the same answer which is $35.10. Anyway, what this tells you is what you actually see on the price tag is not really how much you pay. You pay much more than that most of the times. Well, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you've understood what I've taught and I hope you'll go and do some practice now because practice makes you perfect. So as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg to find some practice uh, problems and also to see how good you're getting at math. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.